Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? I hope that everyone is doing well. I'm here for a new box. I've never gotten a box from this company before. They're new to me and new to the channel. The company is Sacred Vibes and I believe she has two tier style boxes. One that is about $100 and I forget how many items are in there, but um, it's at that tier. And then the second one is her newer one, which is the one I have here, which is the middling. It's the $50 one. Um, I believe I paid $50 plus $9.95 for shipping. I pre-ordered this back, I want to say like in October or November, something like that. I can't remember, but it's all about Astara and Earth Magic. I went ahead and just took it out of the mailer that it came in. And this is what it looks like. When you first open it, I don't know anything other than the theme is Earth Magic for Astara. Inside we see here, this is Astara's Dance in Spring's First Light. Hair is bound with magic pure and bright. Earth awakens with a gentle kiss. Nature's enchantment, pure bliss. Hair's frolic in the meadows fair. Symbols of Astara's tender care. Earth magic whispers through the air. Spring's rebirth beyond compare. It's really pretty hair adorned in flowers. I love the color that she chose. And it looks like we have some paperwork right in here. So I'm just gonna grab that out. Oh, I see one thing in here that I really like. <laughs> kind of trap myself up over here. It's sunny now, it was raining and it was like a perfect time to do this unboxing. So it looks like a tapestry in here, but I'm not gonna take that out right away because I'm gonna do the first couple items I see. And oh. there's a lot of goodies in here. So the first thing I see is this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open that. It's really cute little, it's like her custom wax seal, but I love it. I was just thinking the other day, I need to make my own custom wax seal like for my, my jewelry company. So I gotta look into that. I know there's ways to make your own stamp too, so I might just carve one out. But I really like it. So I saved the seal, but not the envelope. Oh well, looks like we have a kind of oracle card. I don't know what deck this is from, but it's called Air. It's beautiful, the butterflies. It's a nice, unique shape. So yeah, it has all the stuff for the box on this side, so I'm not going to read that. But here we have a beautiful little note that says, Welcome to the enchanting realm of earth magic, a mystical journey encapsulated within your sacred wheel, a star sabbat box. This ethereal collection is crafted with the essence of nature's rebirth, a celebration of the Vernal equinox and the awakening of Earth. As the wheel of the year turns towards Astara, this sacred box becomes a conduit for connecting with the rejuvenating energy of the reawakening Earth. Each carefully crafted item within the Earth magic box is imbued with the spirit of Astara, inviting you to embrace the transform transformative power of the season and forge a deeper connection with the natural world. Open the lid, delve into the wonders held within, and let earth magic guide you on a journey of spiritual renewal and harmonious communion with the earth's vibrant energies. May the energies of the earth magic infuse your life with vitality, growth, and spiritual renewal. As you explore the treasures within, 
May your Astara be blessed with joy, abundance, and the harmonious rhythms of nature. Thank you for being part of my magical community and have a blessed Astara. Skull. Gypsy. <laughs> I like that. That was very nice. And then we have some artwork here. It says, I bloom and grow. Sigil there. The same kind of artwork that's on the box. Very nice. And then it looks like some other paperwork. So I'll get into that later. So the first thing we have here is this. Looks like a little seed packet of some kind. Yes, we have Pollinators Save the Planet Cosmos Grow Kit. Kit includes pot seed, <laughs> it includes pot seed, pot seed packet, growing medium, and instructions. So, very cute. I love Cosmos, so I'm excited for that. Then we have a cute, looks like little egg, which I can't wait to put out. My stuff for Astara, I, I got the Witch's Moon uh, box, but I just didn't get a chance to do an unboxing with for it. Um, and there was some eggs in there, so I'm gonna put that with that, I think, when I put everything out. So a cute little grass in here. And then this is a cute little wooden egg. Sorry, I got stuff on my hands. Um, I don't know what this means, but hopefully, We'll find out. I don't know if everybody got like the same one or if she did different ones. And I see this oil. It's called the Astara Ritual Oil. I can't figure out how to open it. <laughs> this box has very earth vibes coming out. It's very subtle, but it's really pretty um, with the flower. I don't know what kind of flower that is. But looks like there's um, some, you know, iris in there maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe... Pea, butterfly pea flower. Looks like some uh, crystal chips in there. Mm, as I shake it, I smell it more. But I like it. Actually, I like the subtleness of it. It's um, it's really gentle and it's got that kind of gentle earth vibe going on to it, which I like. But it's like slight. It is slightly floral. Now that I have it on my wrist, I can I can smell. It's almost like a um, a jasmine and some other white floral. I can't figure it out right now. But hopefully she tells us. Then I see some earth magic ritual salt. The crows are going off outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> it doesn't really smell, but it's really pretty. It looks like it has blue corn flour in there, some dried herbs, so I'm excited for that. Can never have enough salts. I just used up a lot of my ritual salts, so I'm happy to have more. Then we have this. And it's taped up. Real good. Of course, I don't have any scissors. Actually, no, I do right here.
whatever it is, it's fragile, I think. So that's why it's wrapped up really well. Oh my gosh, how cute. Another little, little kind of egg. It looks like it's made out of quartz. Yeah, it looks like quartz. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really pretty. It feels really good. And then it has the stand that's made out of quartz. Look at that. Is it getting a rainbow in there? Or is it just reflecting off my tablecloth? <laughs> Let's pretend there's a rainbow in there. It feels magical. How cute is that? I love that. Yay. I do not have an egg. I do not have a quartz egg with sand. I love getting new stuff. Then we have this. Looks like a bracelet. Oops, sorry about that. Knocked me around. Hmm, what is this? Is this um moss agate? That's my guess. Uh, whoop, doing it again. I'm liking it. I'm wearing my kind of like green colors right now, so kind of goes with the vibe. It's a little bit bigger than I'm used to, but it's not bad. I can always adjust it too if I want. I have more of this elastic stuff so I can make it smaller or maybe um, I can give it to my husband because it has like kind of like a masculine vibe and I think he is kind of earthing, you know, it has that like mother nature earth element to it and I think that might go to him. <laughs> But nonetheless, I like it and can't wait to find out what stone it is. I'm guessing it's the tree moss agate. Oh, and then we got this little ornament here. Uh, Magic of Nature Sun Catcher. That's super cute. It's getting some good light. I don't know if this what this is made from, but it looks like it's um, electro form. It's definitely got like a copper color to it too, which I like. I think I might hang it in here. It'd be really pretty by the window. So it's really sweet. It's the magic of nature sun catcher, super cute. I don't have anything like that. And then we have this here. This is the Astara offering of fig leaf, blue cornflower, hawthorn, Honeysuckle and Vervain. This is this cute little jar. Adorable. Oh, that the lighting's it's dark right here. I'm gonna have to turn on the light. Okay, that helps a little bit. Scoot you in. Probably be easier if I put some in my hands. But there she is. We're just gonna give some some offering now to everything. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see, we still have like a few things. This box has got a lot of stuff for fifty dollars. Then we have this candle and this beautiful green tissue. 
I wonder if it'll be green. My guess it'll be kind of like this light green color. That's my guess. We'll see if I'm right. Ah, and it is. Look at that. What a beautiful color. And is that a pressed flower or did she do that herself? Oh my goodness. I don't think it's dressed with anything. I can't smell anything, but I love it. I love its beeswax and I'll definitely use it for my Ostara altar. Very happy about that. So far, I'm loving this box, guys. Then we have this adorable little sachet with the hair and the sun and moon, and also a triple moon. And it feels like, it almost feels like it's satin or not, not satin, like the, the drawstring is kind of like satin, but it feels like, is it vel velveteen or what's that material? Anyways, <laughs> it feels kind of soft and it's adorable. It looks like we have a scroll inside the Equinox Harmony spell. And some candles in there and some herbs inside. So we have, looks like roses and lavender flower. And inside here, we have two chime candles, a white and a black one with this ribbon that looks like ivy. Super cute. And then inside of here, um, it looks like a sp I'm not going to get into it right now because this video is going to get super long. I mean, I'll open it up, but yeah, she lists everything you need and it's just like a little ritual. And I like this paper. It lo looks like wood. So I'm excited for that and I definitely will reuse this cute bag as well. It's adorable. That'd be a good um, multi-purpose. Could even fit a deck in there. So that, there's all that. Man, the sachets are building up too on the side here. <laughs> and then we have Oh, this bigger I am in here. We get a deck. Oh my goodness. Earth Magic Oracle Cards. A 48 card deck and guidebook by Stephen D. Farmer. Gosh, that's really cute with the owl and the hair. Is that like a Luna moth? She definitely looks like she's got some magic, huh? But this is, I do not have this deck, so this is new to me as well. I'm just going to open it up real quick and just kind of take a peek. I like the color of the box. Looks like um, the image is a tree on the back. And then you get a guidebook. It's a pretty big guidebook actually. About 170 pages.
So this is really beautiful about working with the Earth Magic Oracle cards. The world speaks to us. We just need to learn how to become better listeners. I love that. Um, I don't think I'm going to go through the whole deck because it's just going to make the video really long, but I might do a separate kind of flip through of this deck once I cleanse it and all that good stuff. But I'm, I'm really happy to get this. I do not have this and love to work with this energy right now. Earth magic. So that is really nice. And then we have the last thing, which I kind of told you guys before, is a tapestry. So... It's pretty big. That's so cute. It's got the moon phases and the hair. Love it. It's really nice. Yeah, it'll probably, it won't cover this table fully, but it'd be a nice, I think I'm gonna put that downstairs. Uh, you could even put this on the wall. But I think I'm going to put it, it's going to be my new altar cloth for my Astara altar. So this, this will be it. And yeah, this is everything in the box. So I'm going to just get into the paperwork now. I'm trying to see how I can display this. <laughs> Not very well, but let's find out about everything. We'll just lay it like this and then kind of move everything back but what a cute little box i'm super happy that i got it and i don't know maybe maybe i can layer this with other bracelets and i'll wear it or if my husband claims it <laughs> he can wear it so here is the paperwork same kind of artwork and it talks about the origin of Ostara, planning Ostara rituals, yeah a lot of, a lot of info on Ostara and rituals, sun salutation ritual, a lot of good stuff here. This video would be way too long if I read everything, but it's got some great ideas too for decorating your altar, which I appreciate. So I'm definitely going to go through this and take it all in. Even has a thing about your earth magic ritual salt, how to use it. And they have like notes in the back so you could write your intentions down or whatever you want to do. That's super cute. This little printout. And then this had all the info about what's in here. So I'm just going to get through it here and kind of learn a little more as we go about all these magical items. First on the list is the Earth Magic Oracle deck. As we see here, it says, serves as a divinatory tool offering insights and guidance inspired by the Earth's natural energies. During a star, the deck can be used to gain wisdom related to growth, balance, and the transformative energies of the equinox. The oracle deck becomes a conduit for tapping into the elemental forces of earth magic. Each card represents a facet of the natural world, providing a means to connect with the earth's wisdom, rituals, and cycles, enhancing the practitioner's magical journey. Can't wait to get into that. Then we have the equinox harmony spell bag, which is all these goodies. 
It says perform this spell during a star of celebration, focusing on your intention for balance and harmony in your life. Always remember to work with positive energy. I definitely need some balance and harmony in my life always. <laughs> so I am definitely going to be doing that star or maybe even a little bit before. Um, then we have the, yeah, I guess it is glass sun catcher. I'm glad that she puts that. This is so pretty. So the glass sun catcher is a celestial ode to a star and earth magic featuring a star and moon gazing hair. This enchanting piece symbolizes the balance of spring equinox. Hang it in sunlight to witness a mesmerizing dance of color embracing the harmony between celestial and earthly energies a perfect addition to your space for a touch of magic and renewal very nice and then we have the hair tapestry that i can't get in the frame but i showed you guys and if i can measure it i'll like put on here how big it is um, so you guys can get a exact feel and it's kind of like a matte. I don't know if it's coming through. It's not shiny at all. It's it's nice and matte, which I like. It's very earthy. It definitely feels like it has that kind of vibe. It's got the soil earthy vibe. <laughs> um, the hair is sacred symbol of fertility and the moon in pagan traditions holds a special place in a star lore. As messengers of the spring goddess, Perez symbol, symbolizes an abundance and rebirth during the season of renewal, embodying the spirit of the wild. The hare becomes a creature attuned to the energies of the earth. In earth magic practices, invoking the hare serves to establish a profound connection with the natural balance and cycles of the seasons. I love how it just keeps going over that, the same message of balance and the cycles and like harmony. I really need that right now. So I'm really happy I got this box. And then, yes, I was right. It is a quartz crystal egg. And that's a quartz base. And it says that it's synonymous of with clarity and amplification of energies and takes center stage during a star the crystal quartz egg becomes a potent symbol representing spiritual growth enlightenment and the manifestation of positive intentions during the season of renewal regarded as a powerful powerful earth element in magical practices crystal quartz enhances connections with nature promotes healing and amplifies energy in the regime I'm sorry, the regime, I can't see. In the realm of earth magic during Astara, the crystal quartz egg serves as a focal point for intention setting and grounding. I'm going to need to get glasses very soon, guys. <laughs> Embrace the essence of Astara and earth magic with a wood-burning egg. I also have this egg here. Man, I can't fit everything in the frame. And then it says the embrace to embrace the essence of a star and earth magic with a wood burned egg adorned with an intuitively chosen rune. Okay. I wonder what rune this is. I have to look it up. This blank canvas beckons your creativity. Dye, paint, or stain it in colors that resonate with the re birth of nature infused with the spirit of a star this egg becomes a sacred symbol connecting you to the magical energies of the earth's renewal i might i might uh stain it i've been really interested in the idea of doing some plant dyeing um i have a friend who does that and i really want to get into it and like dye fabrics and if i do that then i think i'll play around with dyeing it like with green plants that are green to see if it picks up 
the pigment of the plants. There's another idea. Um, so that is great. I'm excited to see what my rune is. Comment below if you know. <laughs> I don't, I'm not familiar with all the runes um, off my memory. So now we have the flower grow kit ritual here. The Cosmo Grow Kit. It says, encapsulates the essence of Ostara by fostering the growth and the blooming of vibrant flowers. Planting and nourishing these seeds align with the celebration of renewal and the emergence of life during the spring equinox. The Flower Grow Kit embodies the practical magic of working with the earth, cultivating and tending to the plants, becomes a ritual and grounding practitioners in the cycles of nature and fostering a deeper connection to the earth's energies. Yeah, I love that. And then we have Ostara Earth Magic Ritual Salt. And it's a harmonious fusion of nature's bounty crafted to elevate your Ostara celebrations and deepen your connection with earth magic. Elevate your Ostara celebrations with the earth magic salt blend, a curated fusion of enchanting ingredients designed to deepen your connection with the reawakening earth. This blend harmoniously incorporates fig leaf symbolizing abundance and prosperity while blue cornflower represents new beginnings and spiritual growth. Butterfly pea enhances intuition and connection with the ethereal and dandelion embodies resilience and the triumph of spirit over challenges. Jasmine invokes love, sensuality, and the divine feminine, complemented by peppermint for a refreshing touch that brings clarity and rejuvenation. Hawthorne contributes to the blend with its association to pro for protection, vitality, and balance, while honeysuckle invites joy, love, and positive transformation. Remain known for its magical properties, fosters spiritual growth, and the inclusion of Epsom salt offers relaxation and purification. Embrace the magic of these carefully chosen ingredients, letting earth magic salt blend amplify the energies of Astara and infuse your rituals with the essence of the season's rebirth. Yay, I love that description of everything. I, I appreciate that. Then we have the Astara ritual oil, which I like. And this has, <clears throat> uh, it says elevate your Astara rituals with our Astara ritual oil. Immer immerse, your, immerse in the harmonious blend of honeysuckle, jasmine, grapefruit essential oils suspended in the nourishing embrace of sweet almond and apricot oil. Anoint for balance, growth, and joy, inviting the essence of spring into your sacred space. Embrace the magic of renewal in every drop. Yeah, I really like it. It's, it's definitely got kind of like that almost like that fey blend um, that I love. It's kind of like got that grapefruit and jasmine. Um, it's definitely at the honeysuckle. It's got like fey kind of vibes too, which I like. Um, yeah, it's really nice. So happy for that. Then we have the Ostara Beeswax Ritual Candle. Ignite the spirit of Ostara. Crafted with care, this candle embodies the rejuvenating energies of Earth's awakening. Let the vibrant green hue symbolize growth and renewal as the pure beeswax carries the essence of nature's magic. Illuminate your sp sacred space, embracing the Earth's vitality during Ostara's celebrations. And I hid it under here, but here we have it. Very nice, bright and vivid. And then we have on here, under the candle, it says, it talks about um, the bracelet, which, what happened to? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it got lost. There's too much stuff. So this is 
Green spot Jasper. I was totally wrong. Wrong. Epic fail. Um, it's also called the Renewal Stone. So it's known for its supreme nurturing properties. Green spot Jasper is very healing and provides balance and harmony to one's life in stressful times. Green spot Jasper will bring calmness and groundedness. Okay, so I don't want to give it to my husband now. <laughs> I want it for myself. I want to, I need it. Cause like I'm, I'm dealing with some like stressful work stuff right now. And I definitely need to bring calmness and groundedness in my life. So sorry, honey, this one's for me. So that is the bracelet. And like I said, it's not hard to take one of these out and then like retie it. So I might do that to just get like a, tighter fit so if you guys know how to do that you can do it too or maybe um one time i'll do a video on how to do it comment below if you'd like to see that sorry i have to take a drink of my i'm drinking this um really good electrolyte mix it's definitely helping me So remember to stay hydrated, friends. And then last but not least, um, she talks about the offering here. And it says, embrace the vibrant energies of Ostara with an enchanting herbal offering featuring fig leaf, blue cornflower, hawthorn, honeysuckle, and vervain. Whether used as an offering in loose incense or a spell bag, this carefully curated blend symbolizes the blossoming of new beginnings, the awakening earth and the harmonious balance of the season, making it a perfect companion for your Ostara celebrations and earth magic rituals. It says, I use plastic containers for safety during delivery. All are made from recycled materials. Okay, so this is glass, but probably she means... Um, this this is plastic so that is everything um, I love everything in here I think it's a really nice um, collection for the earth magic um, Astara kind of uh, sabbat um, box I guess so it's like Astara earth magic and I think all of that works here um, I'm happy I got the box I feel like it's a good value too for that $50 mark I think that she, you know, did a lot of stuff for that. So I'm definitely happy um, about everything. I will definitely use everything. Um, and let me know what you guys think um, about this box. If you want to get it, go check out her site. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, gosh, I don't know because I haven't worked with the deck yet. So... I'm not sure if it's going to resonate with me, but already like opening it and kind of feeling it, I, I think I'm probably going to like it. Um, so I probably will do a flip through through that. And then after I do that and have like had some time to connect with it, then I can give you my opinion about that. Um, but I think right now, if I had to pick a favorite... Uh, it would be a toss-up between the altar cloth and this, just because I don't have anything um, that represents like a hair, um, you know, for Ostara. I think it's great to put it by a window and catch the light, and it's kind of, you know, almost like brings in that kind of water element too, because earth energy to me is... It's got like all the elements, right? Because we're living on planet Earth. So yeah, we're in the Earth, but we're also on Earth with water and like fire and air. So this brings in that like, I think the water element real nice. Um, and then the egg, I, of course, I love this. <laughs> it's really hard to choose, but yeah, I think I would. it would be like a three-way tie um, between this, this, the deck, and the altar cloth but I love everything else I'm definitely going to have a lot 
of use. Of course, I'm going to use everything, so I'm going to get um, good use of everything. And yeah, that's that's all I got right now. Um, let me know what you guys think and what's your favorite. And I will be back to do a flip through later and we'll see what this deck's all about. But for now, thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.